I've got a strategy of how to solve for percent of change problems or percent increase or percent decrease problems. So here we've got the cost of a shirt dropped from $35 to $28. What is the percent decrease? For those of you who follow me and know me, you know I love a proportion model for any kind of percentage problems. I'm a private tutor and so I teach this method to all of my students when we're talking about percentage and it really clears up a lot. So what we always are going to use is the percent over 100. So this number is always 100 right here and the percentage goes over 100. And then we're going to talk about the part over the total. Now, just for clarification with percent of change, percent increase or percent decrease, I like to change these words just a little bit because part and total might be a little bit confusing in this context. What we're really looking for is the difference between the two amounts over the original amount. So let's start filling in our numbers and our variable. Let's start with the percentage over here. That's what the question is asking us for, so we don't know the percentage yet. And it's a dead giveaway that we don't have any numbers in here with that percentage symbol after it. So we're going to put our variable here in this percentage section. Now remember here in the denominator of the second fraction, that's where we have the word original. So what that refers to is the original, in this case, cost of the shirt. So the original price was $35. And then for our part or the difference, what we're gonna do is take the difference of the two numbers. Now, if this was a situation where the cost went up, you would still just take the larger number and subtract the smaller number to find the difference. You just wanna find the distance between those two numbers. So 35 minus 28 gives us seven. So we've got seven up there in the numerator. Now to finish solving this, we're gonna cross multiply and set those two products equal to each other. So 100 times seven gives us 700. X times 35 gives us 35 X. And then we finish this by dividing by 35 on both sides of the equation to solve for X. We get X equals 20 and that is our percentage. So we have a 20% decrease.